The Chrome operating system is the newest minion in the Google Global Empire. Its intention is to take a step out of connecting computers to the internet, that step being traditional operating systems. Basically it's a big web browser that runs your entire computer, and while I don't see this as being something that you should install unless all you do with your computer is write documents and get on the internet, a lot of people want to find out for themselves how it works and what it looks like. So here's a couple of different ways in which you can install and test out the Chrome OS without harming your current computer. The easiest way to get the Chrome OS up and running is to install it to a USB drive. So first you want to make sure you have a blank USB drive that's at least one gigabyte in size, which is the minimum size for installing the Chrome OS Cherry version, which is a minimalistic version of the Chrome OS. Then in a web browser, go to this website and download the most recent version of Windows Image Writer. Extract it once it's downloaded and double click on win32diskimager.exe to launch it. The next step is to download Chrome OS Cherry, which you can find at this website. After downloading it, you can use 7-Zip or another free archiver to extract it until you see the Chrome OS-Cherry.img file. Now go back to the Windows Disk Imager window and browse to that newly extracted image file. Select the drive letter for the USB device and click right. Now just wait until it finishes installing on your USB drive and assuming that your computer can boot to a USB drive, just restart your computer and you should see the Chrome OS login screen come up. If you want to mess around with Chrome OS and not have to worry about restarting your computer, you can install it on a virtual PC, namely VirtualBox, which you can download here for free. Just download and install it to your computer, then open up a new command prompt window and set the current directory equal to the folder location where your Chrome OS image file is located. Then type path equals c colon backslash program files backslash sun backslash virtualbox backslash to point to your virtualbox installation folder. Lastly type vbox manage convert dd chrome os dash cherry dot img chrome os dash cherry dot vdi and press enter and wait. This will convert the image file to a file that virtualbox can use. Now you can launch the VirtualBox program and create a new virtual machine. Let's call it Chrome OS and set both the operating system and version types to other. Then click next and set the memory to at least 256 megabytes. Now click use existing hard drive and point to the Chrome OS VDI file that we just created. Then click finish and start to launch it. Now log in with your Gmail username and password and get started. If you have any questions, please let me know on my new Facebook page or feel free to send me a tweet via Twitter. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.